Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look through the actual properties owned by each and every denomination and missionary organization, yeah. Oh, look it. There's somebody. Oh. I just want to know all the retired missionaries and those that are ordained that happen to be mandatory reporters that are living in subsidized housing because they decided to serve Jesus their old life. <laughs> now, uh, leagues with those not professing true religion, uh -huh, non-resistance of law, oaths, and swearing. <laughs> you can't go through ordination without signing certain documents. <laughs> Quite often, it's a big deal similar to what an oath of office experience is. Yeah. Well, you have to do mandatory background checks on every volunteer. Mm -hmm. And then if you have knowledge of any crime where you have the evidence that exonerates the accused, ooch, I think you have to admit it to the court or to the police department. <clears throat> <coughs> now, polygamy is something where I don't want to participate in it. Yes. I mentioned that I never got to hear what my wife had to say during all those court hearings. Right. Because you served me and arrested me at the same moment of serving me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I was on trial for the allegation of violating the protection order. Right. I was found not guilty. And you kept reissuing it because you said I was crazy. Now, I would have thought that it was crazy to motion the court for default dissolution of marriage when I had responded in 90 days. Yes, using the wrong name, Pope. And I would have thought that it was crazy to not obligate proof of service before having any court hearings. In fact, I would have thought it was crazy to not make sure that I had to hear what she had to say after 10 years of marriage. <laughs> so just go through the missionaries. All right. Go through those that are uh, ordained, pooch, that vowed that they would serve the Lord their whole lives, even when retired, <laughs> because I will sue each and every denomination and missionary organization that has any knowledge that I wasn't in SWIM. Oh, I wasn't in Brennan. Oh, I was communicating, right, that... There's forgery and fraud in the issuance of protection orders. Yes. You had no jurisdiction to issue a dissolution of marriage. Poop. I never got a copy of it. Yeah. <laughs> My sons are in the wrong grades. Yes. And then instead of admitting that you had the evidence I wasn't in the swim, you decided to say I wasn't competent to stand trial. Poop. Now, I don't have a mental disease or defect to know. Yes. That you've intentionally tried me without any evidence in fact you had the evidence that I wasn't there now for those of you that thought well we're just not going to remove this without prejudice ooch. well I know that uh, the police department did get an email from me on June 16th of 2017 and they got approximately a million five hundred fifty-five thousand emails before the arrest that took place on September 19th. And for all of those that made vows of ordination or missionary licensing, I'm going to look at your actual signatures. Ooch. I'm going to look at what nations that you decide to be missionaries in. Poop. I'm going to look at the retirements that were provided by your denomination or missionary organization. <laughs> and then I'm going to look at the actual properties that have been used to support you in your retirement when you no longer could serve the Lord because of your age. <laughs> now, for all of those that thought, I couldn't sue you. Poo. I will sue you for the actual property that you're living in. I will have you evicted from those properties. And I will turn it into a for-profit property where I will keep the income. <laughs> Sounds terrible, but property is profits obtained from possession of another's property. <laughs> See... You have obstructed my right to have my property and pooch as the individual that wants to profit from my having possession of your property. Yes, it does. I don't give a hoot who the fuck you are. 